Hello, I'm Brother Brandon Berg. I've been a Capuchin uh, since 2009. I'm with St. Conrad's Province and I'm currently doing an internship in Denver, Colorado. Early on as I was examining the Capuchin life, um, it was easy to find information about Padre Pio uh, and Solanus Casey. So they were the two that I read the most about. And I think the, the things that stick with me, that move me the most about Solanus Casey are one, his acceptance of life. Whatever came his way in life, he accepted it with faith. Uh, he grew in faith because of the things that happened to him. Most especially his being a simplex priest, not being able to celebrate all the sacraments. He seemed to accept this um, easily. I don't know what it was like internally for him, but he accepted it and had a very fruitful and lasting ministry uh, based on that. He was assigned to tasks like taking care of the sacristy and working with altar servers. He did those, he opened the door for people, he accepted what came in life. And also his prayer. He was known to spend long hours in the chapel. He was known to be seen um, singing and playing uh, the violin to the Blessed Sacrament because that's where Jesus was. He was a man who trusted in prayer and who saw that presence in, in, the, in the Holy Eucharist and he lived that lifestyle. So these are the things that I remember about Solanus Casey.